okay? So there are two parts in the nose which you have three parts actually. One is this full side, two is if the tip comes down and three is if the nostrils are broad. So three things you have to check. What have you to check? If it's broad from the side, if the tip is hanging down or if the sides are too wide. Okay, got it? All right. So liquid, um, nicer to have your hair pinned up. Yeah, yeah, do that. Perfect, okay, that's fine. Okay, now when you are going to work with a liquid, you have to understand the concept that liquids dry much faster, okay? So look up. I'm not doing any color correction because I'm just showing you a demo of this. You need a sponge, you need a concealer brush like this, and you need all of that to be there. So all I'm going to do is... This. Now this is a real makeup, okay? Till now what you did was only to practice and get your hands set on it. And then you want to also correct the mouth area. Yeah, look in the mirror. It's easier for everyone. So all the areas which need, this is a concealer, it's not a corrector. Turn that side. But when you do liquid, it's very important that you conceal completely, okay? And then you can either use a brush or you can use a sponge, okay? So if you're using a brush, you want to make sure the brush does not have too much of color in it, okay? And then, just where it is required to shape it. So all I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of the border of the concealer. But I leave the product where it is. If you do this, be very careful that you don't go in the eye. Close. If you do, then God help you. <laughs> Your client will kill you <laughs> or your family members will kill you okay once you finish this I need a sponge to settle it okay but I can't take an empty sponge the sponge should always have the color of the concealer on it so that it does not pull out the color which I have put on the skin so just with this much it makes sense. Concealer is going to be your skin tone and pink, that's all. Not necessarily darker. Okay, now I want to choose a foundation for her, so let's figure out her color. Have you all seen how to try the foundation and how to pick the right color? Yes. Yeah. How will you try it? Skin tone. Where will you, how will you check? I don't know how to pick the color. Hand. Very good. How will you check? On your hand? No. Wrong answer. Very good. You will pick up three colors which look matching to the skin and you will try them all here. Yeah. Then you will pick up the right one. Okay? Yes? All right? Okay. So, let's try... Uh, if you use liquids, always shake them before you use. Let's check this one. Always shake before you use. And let's check this one. Okay. So we have a mixture of two. Uh, yeah, we'll get our color. So see how fast you have to apply it and go in one direction. That is really important. So this is real makeup. Look up again.
makes two shades. If you need to, here I need it too, that's why. Otherwise, if you just complicate your job clothes. So, and we apply concealer first and then foundation. Absolutely right. So, which is the color corrector? <coughs> color corrector I have not used, I'm just showing you a demo. But you can use it if you want the makeup to last for 12 hours without dark patches. Yes, next question was someone. Which is easier to apply, the liquid on or? Liquid is more difficult to apply, but liquid looks more real, like your skin. Like you can wear it and go out. You can't wear so much of cream and go out. Look up again. And fade away. Got it, guys? Understood? Look. More real. Something you can wear much more often. Come in daylight. Let's see you. Right in front here. Come, look. 